When I first got my license, I started at the Great Clips in Plant City. Oh, you did? I had a lot of anxiety. Hold on, hold on. You started yeah, at Great Clips. I started at Great Clips. All right, y'all. We got Tito's second cut of the day. Tito cuts. Yes, sir. What you doing, bro? This my boy Jonathan. He gets a wave cut, a little okay. mid fade down the skin. And he just started waving, like, how long ago, man? Like, yeah, months. Two months, months, months. Yeah, max. Two months. He always wanted to wear like the curly, the, the little yeah, yeah. picked right out there? top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I said, no, nah, man. You gotta, oh, yeah, to cut down. Got to try it at least. And he stuck with it. But you got the type of ways you don't have to brush that often. Or you you got to live with it for a while. I, I not feel really. Like I had because my hair was so. I used to pick it out all the time. Oh, so you got to really, train your hair. Yeah, yeah, so I had to train it. So Tito, every time I would come in, I would, you know, do the whole main thing. Brush yeah, yeah. Um, you know, brush it down. He put me on a couple durags, a couple products and stuff. I would keep my hair down. Yes. You're combing the hair first? Yep. Got to lift that off the scalp. Get a nice even cut. Yeah, but I definitely use a comb more than I do a brush. I don't think I'm gonna take too much off at one time. I usually start with like a 1.5, bring it down to a one open. Online searching for the for the no the no turn. Oh, and that's how you found that? Or you no, found, this is, is a that? gift. This is just a. Uh, I think construction workers use it. So, yeah, yeah, from Home Depot or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just so happens to work perfect for this. I have seen those. I know why. So one and a half or one open? One uh, one, one point five close. Okay, one point five. five close. Now the end just has the they got the half and the. Yeah, and do you the prefer that one better than using the number one open? For starters, yeah. Yeah, for starters. Leaves it a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way, when I'm going with that one open, it really just, just lays down the hair nice. Yeah, I used to have a lot of clients that they they wanted. The, either the guard because it left it longer, or they wanted the one and a half blade because it cut a little bit shorter. I don't feel like I really need it for blending purposes, but yeah. you know, to get that specific cut that client wants. Yeah. Wait, how long have you been cutting hair? I don't think I asked you. No, so I started. I started practicing when I was in high school. You know, 16 years old, 17 years old. I started having my friends follow me home from school, and I went straight in Georgia. You can do an apprenticeship, so I went straight to the barber shop after school, and then uh, until I moved to Florida. You know what I mean? And then got my hours right, took my like got my license down here. So professionally I've only been cutting since twenty eighteen. So this will be four years. And how long till you, you feel like you got booked? Oh it within the year. Within the year. I think within the year I started demand, building up some demand. Work every hour that you can, take every walking that you can. Five low bro, first and last out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Easiest way to build clientele in my opinion. Man. And then eventually you start to filter out the people who you want to cut, but that doesn't come till yeah. Down the room. I come when you had that luxury because you booked. Exactly. Yeah, that shop was ghetto. Also, you, yeah, you've been following him ghetto. for a while. Yeah. 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 A lot of my guys have, man. A lot of my guys are day ones. What are you doing right now? Oh, man. I fade weird, bro. So when there's no design, no, I don't I don't go with the trimmer bald normally. I go clipper clothes. For, clipper clothes? You know, to do my bald line. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel like I have a hard time sometimes taking out the bald line if I put it in too hard with the trimmer. Okay. So I'll start clipper close, and same thing like for the next line up. Instead of going clipper open, I'll go with the zero guard close. I feel like it just leaves a little bit of a softer line, you know, a little easier to blend it out. Are you cutting different? Yeah. It, are you showing these techniques on your YouTube channel? I think so. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, All right, so now you're doing the one and a half guard close? 1.5 close. So you do clipper yeah. close, no trimmer at first. Yeah. You follow up with the trimmer yep. after. Yep. Then you do not the blade open, but a zero guard close. Zero guard close. And not the one open, but the but one point five. The one and a half guard close. Yeah. The one point five guard close. This I think is. Uh, I feel like I got some of this from watching Drew's Instagram. You guys know Drew, man. Y'all seen him on the channel. Mm -hmm. One of the fastest barbers in the industry. Easy. That was one and a half, so I took my one open. So now you have your one guard. So this isn't one the open. one point five. This is the one yeah. guard open this is the underneath one guard that. Open underneath Okay. That. Yep. You are very like light-handed when you say I notice. That's funny you say that, cause yeah, my a lot of my clients have told me that, man. They're like, bro, you like you're barely touching my head. And not yeah, it looks into like you're like barely touching. I feel like I've had a lot of heavy-handed barbers in my life. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't want to give that experience to someone that. else. No. Nope. All right, so did you go one guard open and then closed? Straight to close. Yep. Straight to close, and then now you're going zero to, guard back open. to zero guard. Yep. Okay. And this is gonna blend out real easy because you know I did the guideline with the zero guard closed, not the yeah. not the, the guard open. So I'm about halfway closed right now. 
It was Jesse and Adrian that put me on to the fading down. I was fading down for a while without guidelines, and then I started putting one or two in there. And you know, I, I thought you got to have a good balance of guidelines, and yeah, you know, it creates efficiency as opposed to extra steps. Like that's why I do zero guard close. Mm -hmm. It leaves a softer line than no guard open. The new baby was the Boost Plus. I'm about to ask you, how you like that one? Yeah, that thing's fire. Like, like that JRL, now that. now the JRL you can, you know, wirelessly charge. I mean, it's compatible with it, right? I don't think yep, you guys yep. released an official one, but it's compatible. Yeah, it's really cool. They're very collaborative as well. So do you typically work in three sides or? I have been lately. Honestly, yeah. I switch it up so switch much. Up. That's but a yeah. common thing, bro. Uh, yeah. I feel like every barber kind of switches it up. Now, your clientele, do you feel like it's pretty diverse? Do you feel like it's... Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So that's what I tried to do with today. Since I knew you were coming, I tried to bring in different, different uh, hair textures. So waves. The next, next kid that's gonna come, he's got like medium wavy hair. I have a little bit of everything that comes in my chair. Honestly, curly hair, wavy hair, straight hair, fade, shadow fades. When I first got my license. I started at the Great Clips in Plant City. Oh, you did? I had a lot of anxiety. Hold on, hold on. You started yeah. at Great Clips. I started at Great Clips. Yeah, bro. What? <laughs> yeah. I had a lot of anxiety about taking walk-ins. Yeah. Right? Did, did you know that? No, yeah. Just... yeah. <laughs> like, I was laughing at. <laughs> I, was, I was shampooing, doing cutting layers. What? But I needed to get because it was. I was doing. You know, my friends come into the house and I would always get super nervous and sweaty when cutting uh, <laughs> strangers. I had to get over that fear, bro. And I'm like, all right, well, great clips. It'll give me a small fee per hour. But they taught me a lot, too, though, man. Like, yeah, I'm sure. You know who put me onto that? You know, Stephen Putman and Jason. Of well, you course. know, Jason. Yeah, yeah them boys are old world. Okay. So he put me onto that idea at yeah. first. He's like, bro, try that. And he was showing us our business. Like, this guy's barbershop is ma was making a million dollars a year. He's just his barbershop. It's crazy. In 22, I feel like I'm bouncing all over here. But Jason, and uh, I, he used to cut one of my buddies in high school and I always wanted to cut his hair yeah. and he never wanted to come because he had his barber. I'm like, man, who the hell is Jason, bro? <laughs> like, taking my clients, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, but sure oh, enough, that like, oh, that's, that's who it was, okay. Just right, so I cool. know Jason has won like 50 oh, barber battles. Like, yeah. He won the, the CT barber uh, battle. He got like the ring and everything. It's like the biggest barber battle yeah. you can compete in and Jason won that thing. So oh, yeah. that's how much of a beast Jason is. Yeah, I was like, man, his Instagram at the time was Birdie Bird. I'm yeah. like, bro, who, who is Birdie Bird? <laughs> and why is my boy not coming to me to get a haircut? And now I know why. Now I know why. Now I know why. <laughs> Started at Great Clips. Just learned how to be a professional over there, man. I didn't, yeah, you imagine me in that little Great Clips uniform? <laughs> <laughs> you get that professionalism, being on time. I made a video where I went to Great Clips and got a haircut. I remember that. I remember yeah. that. You went with, uh, with Fonz, right? With Fonz. People expected me to bash the hell out of them and stuff, but she was really honest. She was like, yeah, just so you know, I'm going to give you a fade, but like skin fades and lineups is not really our thing. So at this point, are you just detailing? Yeah. Is there yeah. anything specific you look for in your detailing? Yeah, so I want to look at it from a different angle. So I'm looking at it from this angle here. You know, I see a little dark spot right there. That's kind of like a wave coming down. That wave right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's hard to tell when you're not looking at the mirror. Mm -hmm. When you look at the mirror, you can better see what he's, uh, what he's pointing at. There you go. See, I like this fine tooth blade for this right here because I won't, I won't put the shaver on his head back here. Yeah, I would love to, time. but that's why you won't need that fine tooth blade sometimes. Like now more than ever, like you have blades for spe really specific things. You know yeah. what I mean? Like there isn't that one blade you use with everything, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I won't use my gold blades on like the necklines and stuff like that. I'll, I'll use like a, a almost a stock blade for that, bro. And almost all of my clients, like anybody who's a new client of mine that I shaved their beard, they're like, damn, bro, what trimmers are those? I never, I don't even feel those. Really? It's because I got them just for that neckline. I think he even convinced me to grow my beard out too. Yeah, hard. yeah. Oh, you didn't have your beard before? He always wanted I, to have it real tight. I did, you know? yeah, but I had a really light. Uh, shadow beard, basically. Light shadow beard kind of thing. Yeah. The reason why you were doing that? It just looked presentable, man. Okay. Actually, he was like, grow it up and let me do my thing. Like, yeah, I man. I just said, trust me with it. <laughs> and he I did. Haven't, I haven't grown back since. Yeah, he did. Actually, the way he, he does your beard, though, compliments you. Compliments the whole cut and everything. Mm -hmm. whole look. You see, like, that's the area that I'm kind of. So he's at the blade open now, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm just really, really light. Really light with it. One quick close. So, I mean, just like I like my, my, my head fade to stay straight. You know, I still want this to be nice and level, too. I don't want it all just to funnel. Mm -hmm. Directly towards the sideburn. So if you had a beard, this is how you would do it. 
Oh yeah, well, I, I had mine grown out for a minute, man. When I had my license, oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm baby phase now, man. <laughs> it was a phase. <laughs> it was a phase. I could never get my, my patches, man. I had my patch here, and yeah. I'm outside too. I could never get them to really fill in. I used to practice my hot towel game on you, right? I used to do those at the first shop, try to get some reps in with that blade. Is there anything about the Rebels you would change? No. No, you like no. it exactly how it is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, literally, I wouldn't change a thing about these. All right. Now, what about, you love the Asas. What about the Asas? What would you change on them? Oh, Nothing? no, I, I would. Uh, with these, it's it's the this lever, right? Sometimes you can bump it. Like, if it's on, oh. you might, just doing that motion, you can yeah. e very easily bump the power button. But outside of that, friction just, on the button? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on that razor. Don't always use shave gel. However, video, however, <laughs> when Basile's in the building, <laughs> you, you're getting treated extra special today, Jack. <laughs> yeah, he's like, bro, you that. never use this. He's like, man. He don't act like why this. You like, why you acting like this for the camera? <laughs> Was it AJ's video that you were talking about how doing the initial pass with the shave gel and then, you know, you come back after it dries yeah. up? to get that ash. You have cleaner skin, so that ash pops too. Yeah, I was probably thinking, I'll try telling Tito, man, this shit hurts, bro. <laughs> Guys, don't try this at home. If you're not experienced with the air holes. Yeah, but I'll put my, my index finger under. Yeah. So it, I, I can control better how much. I've seen some barbers. Don't know how to use it. Yeah. Right in somebody's ear. Oh my God. We had to do open out there. Yeah. I don't know how you guys run it, but. You know what's another thing Great Clips taught me is that never leave someone alone in the shop. What do you mean by that? Like, um, you don't want to leave someone alone at the end of their shift. Like, you know, let's say we close at 7. If I'm cutting someone 7.15, 7.30. You be together. Yeah, like, you know, stay back because yeah. you just never know. You don't want that person to ever possibly be targeted or, you know what I mean? That's like, really cool. We don't necessarily you have know, a barbers need about to do that, that more often too, man, because it's a cash business, man. Like, well, not as much anymore, but still, people see it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that was probably the most, one of the most valuable lessons that I learned is don't leave people behind alone like that because you just never know. This crazy world we're living in. Coming, coming out clean, bro. Appreciate that, man. Dude, John, man, he, he gives me some views on Instagram. It's <laughs> <laughs> my top model right here. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Josh, you, you got Coronas on them, bro. Yeah, you want one, bro? Like, love oh, yeah, let me grab one oh, real quick. Oh, yeah. How many barbers you know got girls in there? Sure. Bro, you Not know what's crazy? Many. I'd love to see this because I used to, um, at one of my locations, we were testing it there. We partnered up with uh, World of Beer. And every month we had their like beer of the month at, in a keg, in a kegerator at the shop. Really? And we were frozen mug. We had frozen mugs in the Ooh. back. As you're waiting for your cut, you could get a complimentary a beer. beer. Yeah. Bro, when I tell you our kegs would go bad because nobody ever wanted any. What? Bro, everybody that would come in, bro, would be like, hey, I was expecting the opposite, like the they were overused one. or something. They, you know? wouldn't, get they wouldn't get one, bro. And we would put a sign, compliments of uh, World of Beer, and we would put, you know, which beer it was. So, like, we, we stopped doing it, bro. And, and in that shop, we had massage chairs, too. So, like, like which one was this? Th that was at Northdale. But, bro, it was amazing. Like, a cold at beer, you know, like, and you could sit in a massage chair. I guess I gotta say, that's why I like the sweet so much. It's just like, I could come by and it's like, I'm not really, yeah, I'm getting a cut, but I'm also like, I haven't known Tito for so yeah. it's like, yeah. I'm coming out of chill with Tito. I'm yeah, too. You're like right. literally like, us. And you chilling. know what? The beer, yeah. I think, works better with that. With that, one thing I noticed is that a lot of guys would say no until one person said yes mm -hmm. to like break the ice and like make them feel comfortable for some reason. But you know, I know what you mean because some people, hell yeah, crack that thing open. Let's go. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, some other people are like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I think this is an underrated part of the of the beard. I put that bottom blade, line it right oh, up yeah. there with that, and just make sure that nothing hangs over the edge. If I was a client, I would I would appreciate that, you know. Yeah, smell the pink. Okay, so that's red pill, blue pill. Red pill, blue pill. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is a new blue. blue pill. This is a new blue. Yeah, it's it's different from last pill. time. Yeah. So, so you switch them up like every yeah. week or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come on. Well, I mean, really, whenever I run out of the bottle, I'll, I'll yeah. take whatever Magnus has. Come on, man, that's, that's different, guys. Yeah. Pick your chin up a little bit. That was. Yeah. This, is, this is. Yeah, bro. This is fresh, fire, bro. man. Look. Yes, sir. In Only there. from Tito. <laughs> My boy. Only from Tito. My boy. Tito, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, sir.